2018, Thursday night's Republican presidential debate gave the South Florida man a brief brush with political fame after he was mentioned by Senator Marco Rubio. We caught up with the volunteer who says he was surprised and flattered. On Tuesday night, I didn't do as well, obviously, as I wanted to, and I was a little bit disappointed when I got home. And my wife told me a story that night, which is the reason why I can get up the next day and keep fighting. There's a gentleman here in South Florida who just got out of surgery, and his doctors told him he needs to be home resting. But every afternoon, he takes his little aluminum chair and he sits outside of an early polling center and holds a sign that says Marco Rubio. And this is that man, 69-year-old Everett Sutton. Please, whatever you do, vote for Marco Rubio. Will you do that? Will you you'll promise me you'll vote for Marco? God bless you, ma'am. It's what Sutton has been doing since early voting began in Florida that has given the presidential hopeful the encouragement to keep fighting. So much, he mentioned Sutton in the Republican debate Thursday night. For him, I symbolize all the sacrifices that his generation made so their children could have a better life than themselves. That gentleman has not given up on me, and I am not going to give up on him. I am going to work tirelessly every single day because this election is too important. I was absolutely flattered. I, I thought it was the nicest thing he could have said, and it made me proud. A proud moment for Everett, who just got out of surgery and should be home resting, but has chosen to rally for Rubio instead. With this going on, coming out here and sporting Marco Rubio was more important than anything I could do. Thank you for voting, Marco. It's a commitment this father of four says he has for his children. I'm not doing it so much for Marco as I am for my kids because he is a person who's going to give them and this country the very best future possible. And Everett says he will stay at his post at the Coral Reef Branch Library until the last voter leaves.